let's see how to differentiate between different neonatal infections based on symptomatology. Now, neonatal infections have very similar clinical presentation, but there will be specific signs which, if noted, will clearly indicate the diagnosis. Let's start with toxoplasmosis. So, toxoplasmosis has general symptoms of hepatosplenomegaly, jaundice, and preterm birth, but there is a classic triad of chorioretinitis, intracranial calcification, and hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus is given in question, it is clearly indicating toxo infection. Similarly, CMV, it has both chorioretinitis and intracranial calcification, but there is microcephaly. The signs indicating CMV are sensory neural hearing loss and thrombocytopenic purpura. Similarly, rubella has both microcephaly and sensory neural hearing loss. But if question is asking about rubella, they will always mention heart defects and cataract. Similarly, if question is asking about varicella, they will always mention cortical atrophy, limb hypoplasia, and cicatricial skin lesions. 